so today we will start uh, 12th physics so in that there are total 16 chapters are there so in previous classes we have started uh, rotational dynamics okay yes, sir. so can you yeah. uh, continue this or we can uh, st with start with uh, any um, easy topic so that uh, it will uh, the topics you can understand better like uh, current electricity or yeah sir i'm trying to think because if this chapter is asked for one of our future exams and we haven't done it yet then we'll kind of be in trouble mm -hmm. but current electricity is easy and mm -hmm. it is shorter as well yeah so i think we should start with uh, rotational only okay So let's start rotational dynamics. So like a motion. So motion having different types. Mm -hmm. Yes. Linear yeah. motion, circular motion. So in this chapter, we are dealing with the circular motion. Mm. So, can you tell me any examples of circular motion? Day-to-day -day examples. Uh, uh, motion of a fan. Yeah, motion of a fan. Great. Mm, grinder. Yeah, same. Grinder, same. fan, washing machine, our mm. electric motor, vehicles, all are using a circular motion. Mm. So, what is the characteristic of circular motion? Already we have seen it is having a accelerated motion and it is having a periodic motion. So, what is the difference yeah. between accelerated motion and periodic motion? Difference is uh, with an accelerated, the velocity changes at every instant, but in periodic, the the particle repeats its path after a certain interval. Correct. So, we have to see the kinematics of circular motion. Mm. Okay. So, some part is already you have learned in uh, 11th standard. Have you? Mm. Yeah, some part we have done in 11th standard. So, when we have to learn uh, the detail kinematics of uh, circular motion, then we have to remember some uh, quantities. Like uh, mm. some terms are there. First is angular displacement. That the object is going to go from where to where. displacement. And we represent it. How do we represent it? Angular okay. displacement is theta. Yes, theta, theta bar. Yeah. And then there is the angular velocity. That object having some velocity, it is uh, represented as omega. Okay? Hmm. Yeah. And we have to find out that then uh, we have to uh, differentiate angular displacement with respect to time. Are you getting? Yeah. And there is another term, angular acceleration. So, which is a differentiation of angular velocity. Yeah. So all uh, uh, terms are uh, interrelated. Angular yes. velocity is the differentiation of angular displacement and angular acceleration is the differentiation of angular velocity. Yes. Then also there is a tangential velocity tangential velocity so in uh, the diagram you can see this v bar mm. that is the velocity at the tangent so how we can find out that so there is one formula for that so what is the formula v v vector is equal to omega vector into r vector 
Yeah, and our omega vector is our angular velocity. And what is the R? R is the radius vector. Yeah. So if we know any two terms, then we can find out the third, third one. Hmm. And what is the direction of uh, omega bar? It is always along, along the, the side. Of rotation. Yes. That is the, our right hand thumb rule. Are you getting? Yes, sir. Okay, so they have given mm -hmm. the direction of angular velocities. So either it is will be a clockwise or anti-clockwise. Both they have given. Okay. The direction of angular velocity. Yeah. Here yes. the, that uh, if it is upward, then that is the anti-clockwise. If that is the downward, then it is the clockwise direction. Clockwise. And if we have to find out that, so the formula they have given is 2 pi n or 2 pi t. Any 2 pi formula. upon t. Hmm. Hmm. So that we can use. And then what is uniform circular motion? Uniform if... circular motion is circular motion with a constant speed. Yeah. So if uniform circular motion is there and its magnitude is constant then we are getting the acceleration as omega square r are you getting yes sir and uh, we know that omega is equal to v upon r hmm. so if we put that value then we are getting another two formulas a is equal to V square upon R, that is V, v omega. omega. Yeah. And its direction is towards the center. Are you getting yes. this in the diagram they have given? So yes, its uh, direction is toward the center. So it's called as a centripetal force. So there are two forces, centrifugal and centripetal. Mm -hmm. So if it's toward the center, then we call it as a centripetal force. Mm -hmm. So like we have seen uniform circular motion. So like that, there is a non-uniform circular motion. Like that, we uh, switch on fan and switch off so that its uh, circular motion it changes. As per the norm, yes. we are changing that speed 1 hmm. to 5. So it is called as non-uniform circular motion. If we uh, changes the speed, then its motion hmm. is changing. Yes. Sir. And uh, already we have solved this uh, example by putting the values, right? Have you remember hmm. that? Yeah, I remember. Okay. Hmm. So in the dynamics of uh, circular motion, uh, we have to learn uh, two forces that already- Centripetal and centrifugal. Centrifugal force. So what is a centripetal force? Centripetal is uh, one which is a circular motion that is happening towards the center that, uh, that mm, is moving but, towards the center of the body. Yeah, but there is one uh, definition so that you have to do right in the board exam. The force mm. providing the acceleration in the towards the center it is called as centripetal or a radial force. Mm. Okay. And then what is the formula for that? So this is the formula. Uh, minus m omega square. Yeah. Hmm. Then centrifugal, centrifugal force. Yeah. 
so what is centrifugal force like they have given an example of a merry go round that mm. is uh, rotating uniformly hmm then what happen if we close the eyes yes you will not know but that you are performing circular motion hmm and you feel that you are at the rest but actually hmm. you are moving yeah then how we can uh, compute the centrifugal force so it's the opposite of centripetal that is plus m omega, omega square, square r, r. yeah hmm. because it is not toward the center it is the away from the center yeah are you getting this yes then applications of uniform circular motion so where this uh, uniform circular motion is applied so first is vehicle along the horizontal circular track they have given one mm. figure figure 1.4 have you seen this figure 1.4 yeah mm -hmm. so so could you explain this yeah yeah just first we uh, read the theory so that uh, that idea will be cleared okay hmm okay they have given one figure in that they have shown one car which is on the horizontal circular track of radius r yes sir and plane of that figure is a vertical plane which is the per perpendicular to the track hmm. but that includes only the center